When dispatching an order, the pick goods, pack goods and prepare invoice tasks must be completed. The pick goods task must be done before the pack goods task. The prepare invoice task can occur at any time. Only one of these tasks can be done at any time for a given order. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the interleaved parallel routing pattern. A set of tasks has a partial ordering defining the requirements with respect to the order in which they must be executed. Each task in the set must be executed once and they can be completed in any order that accords with the partial order. However, as an additional requirement, no two tasks can be executed at the same time. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. Okay, here we start with A and we start interleaving now. B is completed and then we have C and D. Interleaving is ended and we finish our process instance. In the next run, we start interleaving, we go to C, we finish it, we finish D, and after that we finish B, and the interleaving and the process instance. The next run, we start interleaving, we go to C, and then we wait between C and D, we do B, then we do D, and interleaving and finish our process instance. The workflow patterns page says that this is supported in BPMN for simple tasks via an ad hoc process, but there is no support for interleaving groups or sequences of tasks. So this could look like this. Here in our ad hoc token simulation we pick the goods, we pack the goods and then we go out. Ad hoc processes are not supported by the process automation of Camunda 8. And according to the BPMN specification, the tasks in an ad hoc process can be executed in any order, executed several times or skipped. So the problem is not only that there is no support for interleaving, but it is also not guaranteed that any of the tasks is completed at all. Another problem that I always had when looking at the ad hoc subprocess is the fact that there is no proper way of producing a token for leaving the subprocess. I think there must be some user interaction where the user explicitly states that the subprocess is over. Anyhow, we have to look for another solution. So here it looks a little more complex. We have exclusive event-based gateways and we first start by picking the goods and then we go to prepare invoice, pack the goods and we are done. In the next run we choose prepare invoice first and then we pick the goods, we pack the goods and we are done. And finally, we go to pick the goods and now pack the goods and prepare invoice. I can hear you say this is trivial. I know, it doesn't scale up for more tasks. It's not elegant, but it fulfills all requirements. Do you have a better solution? Drop me a comment. Thank you for watching.